without a scuff or crazy keybinds with crazy mouse it sounds like you're trying to break it every time you use it I, I mean of course you have to dedicate hours and hours and hours and more hours to the game if you want to be considered a top tier pro I will admit I've been pretty sad ever since they moved over to PS4 for competitive Call of Duty because when I was younger you know uh, back in my early teen days it was my absolute dream to play Call of Duty uh, professionally, unless, you know, except for when I was trying to be an NFL star, of course. You know, I always wanted to play with the big names like Scumpy, Nateshot, Jcap, Merc, you know, Big Tyrant, and all the other big name Call of Duty pro stars. But now look at me, a bum living with his mom and dad and looks and smells like a douchebag that just went to the gym for f fucking 16 hours straight and makes mediocre YouTube content. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm killing it. But back during the 360 days, it, it was Microsoft that would deal with Activision. All right, back back on back on course here. Xbox was the one who received the first benefits of DLC in competitive Call of Duty tournaments. It's a little different in 2019. I don't know this for sure, but uh, I don't think Sony has signed another deal with Activision for console privileges yet. But it looks like they get first rights to things as of right now. That's how it's looking for the Modern Warfare beta. At least that's how it looks. Um, I just, like I said, don't quote me on that. But, but, what if, and I mean this is a big what if, what if, because Activision is pretty lazy and wants to grab money anywhere they can. They're kind of like a cheap stripper, to be honest. But, but what if we could combine the Call of Duty esports into one large cross-platform league? Similar to kind of how, like, Fortnite lets you willingly choose which console or PC you want to get your ass clapped on. We could do a similar strategy with Call of Duty, however, make make it team-oriented. And I know that there's Fortnite team-oriented things, but let's be honest, Call of Duty's mainly all for, you know, playing as a team. So, let's say, for example, my buddy George wants to be on my competitive team. However, he plays PlayStation, and I play Xbox. I know George is a godly S&D player, and my team is very weak and gets clapped when it comes to S&D. So, I want to get George on my team, obviously. See, the way it works now, you're just shit out of luck. If you're an Xbox fanboy tryhard like myself, well, you better get good at other games if you want to compete in esports. You know, George is going to be fine. He can continue playing on his PS4, and he'll he'll be fine. He'll find a team. And, you know, it's, it's kind of really depressing when you think about it. I know that I run into guys that are easily equally as good as me, and possibly even way better. For example, George. But they no longer get the chance to show their talent and raw skills because of a stupid partnership. You know, I run into a lot of guys that are crazy good at the game on Xbox that would easily, you know, compete with PlayStation players. But, you know what, when it comes to esports, Call of Duty is a goldmine for possibilities. It's like, it's like having a kid, alright? You could have the next Kobe Bryant, Steve Jobs, or you could have a kid that still dabs and says swag seriously in 2019. If they could make a league where all parties can come together like a PC player, a PlayStation player, and or Xbox player on the same team, it'll completely change the landscape of esports forever. Especially with Call of Duty, obviously. It's literally the difference between being a tiny bitch of a man and taking stero steroids and getting swole as shit, okay? Sure, your balls may shrink, or in the case of Call of Duty, you'll have criticism, you know, about PC being more dominant than Xbox and PS4, and the PS4 controller is different than the Xbox One, but I don't give two shits what anyone says. Controllers can, have, and will beat PC players. You know, the controller, it all comes down to who's using it. And, and there's another argument. Is it harder to find players that can do that, you know, just destroy PC players? Yes, it is, sure. They, but they're out there, right? Are there dwarf giraffes? Hell yeah, there are, but are they easy to find? No. There's always going to be pros and cons to the device or console you use when it comes to gaming. Okay, let's say that they don't go for combining everyone, right? Let's, do, let, let's just say that for whatever reason Activision doesn't want to combine the cross-platforming leagues. 
well, why don't they host tournaments and have seasons for specific devices? For example, in Rainbow Six, they have an Xbox League and a PS League, or a PC League. PC is the more dominant species in that game, but it, it proves it can be done. I think Call of Duty could do something similar to that. Host tournaments a week apart, or host different ones at different locations, or host tournaments to see who's the best on each console and then take it from there. For example, they could let the top four qualifiers from each league to go against the winners of the other console or PC league. I personally think it would generate a lot of revenue and it would also pique new people's interest into esports as a whole. Call of Duty could easily become the next biggest esport and it's very large as it is right now, but it has much more room to grow. And I can't imagine, like, I can only just imagine how much more growth could happen from doing tournaments from like this. Of course, everyone would have to follow a strict set of rules that would be applied to the three leagues leading up till the cross-platform tournament. Now, don't feel like I'm talking shit about Call of Duty and its esports scene. I personally love the way it is, but you know what? I love even more seeing the game do well and the community to be able to be sort of a, a, a bond in a non-gay threatening way. So, I'll leave the video with this, alright? I believe that cross-platform for Call of Duty esports should and needs to be done. Call of Duty has a massive fan following and some people don't, don't even know that you can play the game seriously and actually make a living. I can't think of any better way to get that point across to people except for this. I think it would be a great turning stone for Call of Duty as a whole. As I said before, that's my two cents on what they should and could do. Of course it's easier said than done, but they definitely have the resources to do it. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button and comment what you think. Subscribe for content similar to this. But as for now, I'm out of here. So peace out, my deeds.